Today's the day, are you coming? Are you I'm sick of being normal, I'm sick of being average I'm sick of being mortal, I'm about to be a savage I see a lot of things that I want, I will have them I got a new mindset that I just established on my... Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck, and it's that time once again. You can tell from the thumbnail, you can tell from the title, we are about to watch a movie that is a prequel to Craig of the Creek. Now, for me, I've never seen Craig of the Creek, I've seen clips of it, stuff like that, and then after I did the update video for the year 2024 and said how I wanted to kind of focus on movies this year instead of focusing so much on series, someone suggested this, Craig Before the Creek. And I was like, you know what? That might not be a bad idea because I might have an interesting perspective on it since I've never seen an episode of Craig of the Creek or nothing like that. So I'm like... Why not give it a shot? But then again, now that I'm sitting down thinking about it, I think this is a Nickelodeon property, so I might have trouble uploading this, and there might be a ton of edits. So, now that I'm thinking about it, yes, I might have an interesting perspective due to the fact that I've never seen one episode of Craig at the Creek, Granted, yes, I've seen clips here and there, but I've never seen anything to do with this show. But since I believe this is a Nickelodeon product, that means it's going to be owned by Viacom, which then in return means copyright issues galore is going to happen. So I'm going to attempt to. Now, if I have 10 to 15 different uploads, of this reaction and it keeps getting blocked and blocked and blocked I might have to go another route and figure something else out so not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to do this but hopefully Viacom has kind of loosened the reins up on its little copyright issues that seem to fester here on YouTube because that's why I've never reacted to anything that's you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles around here. I'd love to react to some Ninja Turtle stuff, but let's be real. Viacom, they don't allow hardly anything. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than let's put these earbuds in and start this and see what it's like. So, yeah, let's do this. And as far as this hair... I, I, I honestly, I don't see it lasting much longer <laughs> between the wife not liking it and it's just like, I uh, just, it's getting so freaking long. It's literally like all over me now. So three, two, one, and play. Oh, so it's not a Nickelodeon product. It's a Cartoon Network product. Warner Brother has loosened the reins a little. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's not the end, obviously, because something's still going on. Okay, obviously that oh, shirt means else. something. We'll find it. Or they wouldn't have been showing the shirt. Property of Hannah. Okay, Craig before the creek. Um, so... I don't know what the frick is going on, but that's probably because I don't know the show. Table four for life. You give me like a twelve hundred dollar budget. It's nuts. Anyway, what? Gonna be the same without you. I don't even have a twelve hundred dollar budget for my own birthday. That sucks. Is that on a house? Okay. Wait, they got a pasta la vista here. I like his sister. As soon as we look up how to fix a light switch. It's not difficult. Okay, so... A lot of this beginning of the movie makes... A lot of people probably feel a lot of right. different ways, probably but for me... I've never connected with these characters, so I have here. no idea how to feel about anything that's going on. I know my guy. 
We left a lot behind. We were. <laughs> I like that that box has a right face on, on it. Birthday sleepover. Now I'm here. It's a play on Amazon's logo, but at the same time, shows his emotions of being sad. This place feels different. You know, I'm really glad to see that something like that isn't done away with with this new generation. Because that's what everyone sorry, used to Jessica. do at the playgrounds, is spin those me. swings and just spin. There's the creek. After 10 minutes in this movie, we finally get the creek. Well, your insect type is no match. That was an easy win. Whoa! Girl! Huh? Oh. There you go. Get that tooth back in. Are you okay? Maybe I'll see you around, man. I got a feeling you're gonna see him around. So many kids here. I, I'm gonna take a while to guess and say that they were horse children. Uh, horse girls? Yeah, horse girls. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Seems legit. Oh my gosh, the horse girls. Hey, just take it. This is the worst day of my life. But you seem happy. <laughs> oh yeah? Somebody stood up to him. Or her, I don't know. It's okay. What are you mad at him Great. for? I just asked you to take her to the playground, not drop kick her doll into I mean, the come on. He didn't do nothing. To your clothes. Oh my gosh, Mom. I want to go back home. To be fair, back home, whoever that kid was having that sleepover <sighs> seems kind of like a pretentious <sighs> jerk. So you might be better off over here. What in the world? Property of Hannah? Okay, so here's the notebook we saw at the beginning of the movie. To whoever finds the period math, the <laughs> wishmaker had the power to grant any wish. Oh my gosh, it did one of those little <laughs> things that you... Yep, so simple. that's the exactly what it is. You just... Behind a puzzle of arcane dreams. <laughs> wow. Those pirates took it. It does make me feel better. I like her. The creek wasn't always like this. Pirate before she And I also up. recognize her voice cool. as Moon Girl. Serena, captain of the pirate kids. Possibly. Nobody knows where she came from. Ah! Yeah, I was gonna say, calm Don't down, back, girl. I I'm not here to get my snacks back. Like Creekfoot or the Booger Man. The man <laughs> Booger Man. Boogers. Yeah, real. that's nasty now that I heard yeah. her. Then what's this? A drawing of a unicorn with a jet. Okay, so. What? We got a song. Cool. That <laughs> butt rock. I'm so immature. How is her sword so sharp when it's just a piece of pipe? Whatever. Cartoon logic. I know that voice. We're elves, not trolls. Ah! Oh. Just can't pinpoint well, it off the top of my head. Curve, so. Too many children have. I do nothing but give. I'm a tree. Whoa! Oh, a seed. Replenish the forest. Okay, okay. Way to go. I thought maybe a tree at first, but I would have had it wrong. So I asked for the Falcon for Hanukkah, but. My dad said that was too well, dangerous. Well, yeah, I was about to say, obviously you're not going to get a falcon. So we got a pair. You all right? <gasps> what the <gasps> heck kind of nightmare fuel is that? Oh. Hey! <laughs> get up there! <laughs> Do y'all actually have a monkey? 
Okay. JP the torture. And I'm JP the torture. Your souls. Using any means. Wait. Yeah, I mean, I've had does JP have yeah, like two sets of eyebrows? Nope, just that one. Hi. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you, Craig. Uh, you know, you know, you, you seem like a pretty good dude, my no, dude. I'm not Craig the Anything. Okay, not Craig the Anything. Fire! Whoa, oh, is that hot sauce in the eye? What the heck? Oh, oh no. And then they made me scrub the poop tank, and I totally misunderstood that job. Ew. You know yeah, what? Yeah, um, the torturer. You're because okay, my dude, but start understanding the assignment. Okay? <laughs> It's just pirate business. Yeah, you were a cool dude too. Then so you told small, on them. Pathetic. Come on. They miss the ocean. That's where a real pirate belongs. To looking for this. <gasps> oh, you got the other half. I found it two summers ago. On You've got nothing to fear. And hey, so I feel like the voice I'm hearing from this old pirate, not old, but you know what I mean, what we is. <laughs> To look from Infinity Train? Wow. Join us where I'm destined to Or maybe it's Jasper from CV Universe. Maybe it's just the feeling I'm getting from this part. I don't know. Oh, that wasn't a gorilla. That was just a kid in a costume. Stealing and fighting? This isn't what being a pirate. Okay. That's exactly You're an okay dude about. again, it's my like dude. The defining feature of a pirate. Together on a ship. A friendship. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're torturing us! All I gotta do is duck. <laughs> I mean What did you expect? Oh gosh, you gotta go home. To risk a grounding to please their captain. Nope, go home. It's pizza night. Stay in the creek all night if you have to. Be from something even more toxic. Bad friend. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, it was a bad joke. Hey, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Suffering from the condition called old. Yes. Are you sure you don't mind having? Uh. I like this kid so much. So much fun. They're like puppies in a basket. I can give you a tour if you want, but it caught fire. Sorry. Well, you are not you very so good at this, but, dude. Um, can you put Craig on a game? Sleep over at my friend Brian's house. But then we moved here. Brian's a prick. My gosh, this is perfect. First sleepover slash hideout. What are you going to wish for? Wait a second. Maybe muscle? Is that oh, lumpy muscles. space princess? Um, well, Holy crap. I've always wanted There's to so like many voices I feel like I hear in warriors, my head books, but that I just can't keep sure track of them and I keep hearing other you know, other shows. I guess I wish I had something like that. Oh, come on, my dude. Sorry, but it's better this way. Why are you just leaving them behind? I to make friends. I came to find a way home. That's a lot more different than I thought it would be. It's a slide. This should be fun. Hey, let me just see. Where am I gonna find the Wishmaker? Oh. <laughs> Probably right there. Yeah? Time to grab this thing. Oh, that... Looks scary. What kind of sick game is this? I don't even know how to play hopscotch. Oh great, now you done blew all the dandelion seeds everywhere. But you found the wish maker. Brian didn't even remember my name. Yeah, Brian was a jerk. Four. One. Two. Um, oh. I don't know what happened there, but oh, uh. <laughs> I'm I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, just goes down in the water. Fine, leave. 
to my real friends. I apologize. I, I didn't. That's not what I meant. Ah, uh, actually, apologize. Want me at home? Then you said friend. What are we waiting for? And I guess that's his apology. So there we go. Okay. My dude, you are a natural at steering that little inflatable bounce house boat thingy. Oh, so it was pool noodles the whole time. Smack, just smack, you smack. Yeah. She was no longer the She's no longer doing, doing it for only the payments. No, she was Kelsey the Brave. Yeah. What did oh. happen? Huh? I've got to remember that this is a very imaginative what show. Inside the Wishmaker. <gasps> See, and this is where my Jasper vibes come into play. <laughs> you know? To be invisible. Uh oh. Where'd she go? That certainly didn't help anything. Oh, she gonna bite you! Guys, She's about to claw the mess out of you, yeah! I mean, what did he expect? With no friends, no ocean. Yeah, go figure. They both have the same problem. I vowed to do anything I could to get back there. And she's gonna ball up her fist. No! Huh? Okay. Uh oh. What? Stop! And it stopped. <gasps> oh, but y'all just went right past old Serena. She learned a lesson. Show her some love. Yeah, he got it back. And so you ain't ever going to tell them that your room is all you never went to a sleepover? It's perfect. Do you accept apologies? Aww. No. That was nice. Donations. Yeah! Donations? Not all of them chose to stay there. Well, no, take those things Sorry, and just trade them. Uh, it's okay. It's a trade and treat. I don't need that thing anymore. You'll know where to find me. Sincerely, Craig of the Creek. Huh. Hey, Craig! So, oh, I wonder if that means Hannah was it. in the actual yeah, show? Ragged. I don't know. Put a bunch of leaves on my tummy, see which ones give me rashes. That means exploring the entire <laughs> creek. Yeah, hour before dinner, we can squeeze it in. Let's go then! Yeah! Okay, so it sounds like that is the end, and I am going to let these credits play out. I'm pretty sure there ain't no after credit scene, so I'm not going to even worry about putting this back in. If the after credit scene happens, then I don't know. I'll try to remember to put it at the end or something somewhere. Either way, though, first thoughts right after watching this Craig Before the Creek movie with zero context because, let's be real, I have zero context for any of this. <laughs> in fact, I kind of had to get it in my head after a while. I'm like, okay, um, so pretty much in a nutshell, this was kind of, it, it kind of gives you some kids next door feels to it if any of y'all seen that i mean it's there's a bigger name to the name of the show kids next door it's like code name kids next door but kids next door it gives you those kind of feels for this show and i gotta keep it in mind that this is definitely meant for you know obviously not somebody my age but somebody my age can find some enjoyment out of it. And 
kind of get the perspective of a younger generation when it comes to moving because honestly when it comes to parents and see I'm thinking of this show from the perspective of the parents Craig's parents they had to make a decision and they ended up moving and of course you can't you know Yes, you could tell the kids and say, hey, we're thinking about this, this, and this. You can tell the kids you're thinking about it, but ultimately you can't take their input because they're just children and they don't know what's best for the family. So, from the parents' perspective, they are doing what they feel is best for the family and they're taking all the children, you know, packing everything up and moving to another city or another state or I don't know where they move to in conjunction with where they're from but they moved and that means now from the kids perspective now they're kind of like at a loss because they feel like their parents are taking everything from them you know and they had all the friends there they had all these different things they were planning and from a children child's perspective not children's perspective but from a child's perspective that is kind of the end of the world for them so it's kind of it, for someone my age to watch this I can kind of learn some things but and I can find some enjoyment in it of course because it kind of takes you back a little bit you kind of sit back and you're like okay get out of the mind frame that everything is so freaking serious slow down and just keep in mind that this show is about these kids and they've got an imagination and everything is just bigger than life to them such as they made the wish turn it into the ocean blah 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 okay well obviously it wasn't going to turn into the ocean but the rain did come during the wish which then makes it where everything looks so much bigger than it really is but this is what the children are seeing with their imagination so I've kind of got to keep that in mind that hey it's kind of like Rugrats in a sense the kids on Rugrats my generation of Rugrats not this new you know CGI 3D model of Rugrats but the original Rugrats, when you go back and look at that, it's kind of like the same thing. Everything is over-exaggerated, and these children are going on a grand adventure, and that that's what this is. They're going on grand adventures. They, their mind is seeing something else, but definitely going back to the whole point of Craig and, you know, they're all moving, and you get three different perspectives. You get the oldest child, which is a teenager, and they're like, ah, you know what? Real, actually, you know what? Now that I slow down and think about it, you would think that they would have kind of an attitude, being like, Ugh, y'all are moving, blah 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 blah. You're ruining my life. You would think they would have that attitude, but no, they they walked outside. They met somebody that enjoys food. They enjoy food. They clicked and they went off and got some food. So. Yeah, the oldest one just did not seem to care about the move, but obviously Craig did. The move was upsetting for him. Then you got the youngest child who was coping with the move by keeping small onion or whatever the name of that little thing was. So, yeah, she was coping with it that way, so we saw her dealing with it in a completely different way than, you know, Craig. But... Yeah, this is just my first thoughts right after watching it. As for me, with zero context to go off of, I for me, this doesn't make me, as someone who's watched none of the show, it doesn't make me want to actually watch the show, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind sitting back if I want to just turn my brain off and just kind of watch the show just as a moment of goofing off and just checking it out and being like, oh, this is a pretty interesting episode. But for a story-wise, 
granted, I don't know the story of Craig of the Creek. All I know is this prequel story of him moving to the creek and making friends. So, other than that, though, it does not make me actually want to sit back and watch the entire series. And when I say watch, I don't mean just sitting back and watching an episode of two. I mean, I don't mind doing that. I mean, yeah, sure, okay, it's a fun, cute little show. I'd watch it. It doesn't make me want to binge it, as in, oh gosh, I've got to watch this, you know? That's what I mean by it. It doesn't make me want to watch it. When I want to watch something, I want to watch it. Like, when I'm sitting here watching stuff with y'all, granted, I have to sit back and slow down a little bit, watch one episode at a time, or watch movie, but when I'm watching something on my own, and they drop every episode... I just want to watch every freaking episode back to back to back to back and binge that thing. This doesn't make me want to binge the show. So that's what I mean. Um, overall, fun, cute, adorable show. I like it for the most part. So yeah, hopefully my jumbled mess of a first thoughts made sense. If it didn't, sorry. That's just how I am. I don't make much sense sometimes. I drive a semi truck and I drove a lot of miles today. So... My brain isn't all here. Then again, it never is. Either way, passing this off to y'all. Y'all know the drill by now if you've been here, and if you haven't, here's the drill. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.